What is going on YouTube? Hit back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we will be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as Tether to Bitcoin. As always, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications. We are doing a giveaway at 5,000 subscribers, which is right around the corner. We're already almost at, I think, 4,950. We are growing so fast and I'm so excited. Um, otherwise, I do have a lot to talk about in today's uh, video. So a few things, uh, a bunch of information. Definitely recommend watching it all the way through. You don't want to miss out on this stuff. Uh, I've definitely had a lot of conversations with you guys in the comments prior. So we're, we're going to be talking about, looking, we're basically looking at Litecoin, where Litecoin is expected to go. We're then going to be looking at Tether because some people, uh, I want to give my opinion on Tether and what I noticed. And obviously you can let me know in the comments if you agree, disagree. And then I want to look at Electronium. I found uh, some graphs that I want to look at with... Um, with Tether's technical analysis. And then I did speak to a fellow acquaintance about Electronium, and he said he wanted to update me on, on some new important things Electronium did with its uh, its business motto. So I do want to shout him out later in the video. So it's a, a whole bunch of cool stuff. Definitely recommend watching uh, through it thoroughly. And um, otherwise, let's let's continue on with uh, today's episode. So I'm on the coin market cap right now. Market cap looks quite nice. $220 billion. We see a 24 hour volume of 16.5. Bitcoin dominance 52.1. Uh, market cap slightly up. Uh, actually, I think it's if for, I think it's slightly down, yeah, slightly down from yesterday. Uh, Twenty-four hour volume is actually quite higher than yesterday. So I guess when we see that move in uh, price, when 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 we're flushing out uh, the weak hands, uh, volume goes up. Even if it's leaving the market and not necessarily entering the market, volume does increase. Bitcoin dominance slightly down from yesterday, if not at the same level. Uh, I forgot what exactly what it was yesterday, but it does seem to be quite even if not slightly lower. Looking at the top 10 coins, everything is in red practically except for Tether. What a coincidence. We'll be talking about that today. Uh, otherwise, majority of the market is in red, but not by much. Um, what was that? Did you guys see that 40? Eternal token is up by 40% today. Absolutely wild. Electronium is down by 10%. We'll talk about that. Otherwise, moving back up to these top 10 tokens, you can see Bitcoin at $6,600, only down by 0.5%. Ethereum, $220, down by 3%. XRP, down by 0.96, 53, uh, 53 cents. Litecoin, $6,192, down 2%. Tether, up 0.16 at $1 even. So, bunch of stuff to talk about. I guess let's look at Electronium first. Then we'll look at Litecoin and um, no, actually, let's look at let's look at Litecoin first, and then we'll we'll discuss Electronium. So, uh, Litecoin is definitely in some sort of consolidation path. Uh, path, I believe I mentioned in the title that we could be seeing some sort of uh, support being broken, and we did inevitably see that. You can see that we had. I truly think sixty two dollars is a resistance. A lot of people are saying sixty nine, seventy dollars is another resistance. I think there's a bunch of resistances within Litecoin itself, but I do think. Particularly, this is a small resistance that we needed to break. And you can see, I, I also think there's a small support right at the top right here. Now, we're kind of trading in right now. You can see the tops of these candles right here. You can see the price shot up quite substantially in the past uh, 24 hours. We went all the way, like I said yesterday, to $65. We went quite high fairly quickly. And then we obviously pulled back down because we were nearing overbought areas. But you guys can see we did confirm that we have some sort of uptrend helping uh, push Litecoin farther. And I know a few people in the comments are telling me that they are anticipating a lower move. So we can't throw that out. They're anticipating a $35 to $45 move potentially, uh, which is definitely an interesting approach. Nothing sets a red flag off at the current moment to um, indicate a pullback to such levels. And I don't necessarily think we will. Uh, 
A slight pullback is definitely possible back down to its high-low middle moving average on the four hour, if not below that as well, bringing it maybe to like $58, if not at like 59, anywhere from 58 to $60, basically retesting its support on this uptrend right here. So a small correction is, is definitely not um, out of the loop. We could definitely see that. And if anything, it's quite healthy for, for Litecoin to see some sort of pullback at that level uh, fairly soon. Looking at Litecoin now on the daily, this is also quite interesting. You guys can see how uh, a daily support is quite different than a four hour support. So we were looking at strong candles as a support. Now we're seeing weeks, which weeks are obviously weaker. Uh, so we could potentially move this up ever so slightly, or we could just draw another one just for uh, just for the video's sake. So something like this is also possible right here, a, a stronger support. and. One thing to note is there's only two um, support, I mean, two touches to confirm this uptrend. We usually look for around three. Uh, definitely could retrace back down. And if we do, we're looking at a $60 coin. So it's definitely something we're going to have to pay attention to. You can obviously see the uh, channel it's kind of trading in right now. And I think the most healthiest move for Litecoin at the current moment is just to trade sideways and then potentially retest uh, the top of this bar on this uptrend. Otherwise, let's move on to Electronium. So I did pull up this, this uh, weird you know, graph. It's on bitscreener.com. If any of you guys know of a better website, and I know it's so weird that I'm in white and I'm on a white background, so that might look weird. Uh, but if any of you know either how to get this into a black mode, I don't know if this is it. Oh, I just found it. Cool. Um, so I'm going to use that. It probably looks a lot better. But uh, anybody who knows a better website to to graph electronium please do let me know in the comments feel free to let me know otherwise i did want to talk about what uh, a buddy of mine uh messaged me on in a in a discord uh, and if you guys have any interest in joining my discord let me know because i do believe crypto man 976 who left this comment who's also a big moderator in the group wants some other people to join so if you're interested in that as well let me know but crypto man said hey crypto tv the article you reviewed was extremely outdated to the point that it is more or less false at this point, which I'm shocked about. I just wanted to find some general summary of what Electronium was. Even if it's history, it's still quite factual. Um, it says, with the extended bear market, Electronium's road to the market changed drastically. All that online gaming is still possible down the road, but their road to the market is, is now through their massive partnerships with mobile carriers that have hundreds of millions of users and don't have a bank account. So I feel like that's a quite a big jump. You know, you went from gambling and gaming to now uh, banking. I feel like that's a very big jump for an ICO to do. And I'm not trying to spread FUD on on Electronium. I'm just trying to give you guys my best opinion and view of uh, this cryptocurrency. So hopefully you can fill me in on that a little more, what you think about that, Crypto Man. Why would uh, a coin, you know, trying to play the devil's advocate change so drastically? It's, it's route uh, is trying to find like the better way to, I don't know, influence or gain more people to join its it's uh it's coin and use its coin i just think it's a very wide leap that it uh that it shows from what you're saying uh but to continue he then says uh that is the basic foundation at this point add the patent pending instant payment api that any vendor can install within 20 minutes on their existing point of sale system and that's what's driving the price the initial kyc process is set to wrap up at the end of september and the actual mass marketing with mobile carriers is set to begin next month look up official electronium update video from the other day right as etn's price started taking off with the ceo richard ells uh where he talked about the marketing one of the carriers has said that they will be offering double airtime i'm assuming that's double airtime minutes for any users that pay with uh pay their bills with etn which their users will be able to do with mobile mining on their phone now i also read that this mobile mining is not necessarily uh mobile mining it's just a way to earn tokens it's not actually mining on your phone and you can correct me if i'm wrong on that too but from the research i was doing it's not legitimately mobile mining 
To continue on, he says, what makes ETN so attractive uh, to people outside the first world countries is the fact that the mobile miner can make a significant difference and or completely offset the entire income by itself. The fact that they can pay their phone bills with it and not have to worry about whether or not they have access to a bank is a huge bonus. All cryptos talk about mass adoption. ETN is doing it. Everyone has a phone, even in poor countries, and everyone has a phone bill. That's the road to the market. The instant payment API is icing on the cake uh, which will allow any business in the world to integrate ETN as a payment for their goods within 20 minutes. Uh, so to say things have changed a little since that article you reviewed would be an understatement. And that's what I'm saying. It's like that is such a huge change. You literally went from using your token as a gaming uh, platform to now a whole different market. That's what I want to know a little bit more about. I feel like that's a very massive stretch. And, you know, with gaming, they're kind of doing something that you're not allowed to do with fiat currency, uh, at least in the in the in New York or United States. I'm not sure. Exactly. I don't I know definitely New York. Um, so to now just branch off of that and go in a completely separate road, it's it's very intriguing, but also worrying to me as to why they're doing that. Uh, especially being so new to the market. And it says, and to be honest, the changes they have made have been a blessing in disguise. The gaming part of it didn't really intrigue me. And I was a gamer for uh, before crypto. And I do like to dabble in some gambling too. The current course of action screams successful mass adoption with more potential than just about any other business platform this world could even imagine. People talk someday Bitcoin will be replaced. Uh, well, if there ever was a crypto that had potential, ETN is it and you are watching history right now. Enjoy it while first uh, go buy some and then enjoy it. So obviously, shout out to you, Crypto Man 976 I do appreciate the Discord that you have added me to. It is an awesome platform. Uh, let me know, guys, if you want to join it. And Crypto Man, let me know if you are accepting new beginner people into this Discord. And I will be sure to add a link on a future video. Uh, so definitely keep me in the loop on that. I'm sure you will. And I'm sure you will see this video. But otherwise, let me know what you guys think about this. All you uh, Electronium hodlers, I I would love to hear more information. Now, looking at Electronium, it's also interesting that you point out that we took off, due, or Crypto Man said we took off due to his video coming out, and that could have potentially spiked this uh, massive pop in the currency or in this run. So ignore this massive line. That's why I'm looking for a better website. But what I'm noticing right off the bat is there's a sure as there sure as hell is a downtrend right here that has been holding quite firm on the market for Electronium for quite a bit. Uh, I don't know if it tells me the date. It says, OK, January, February, March 10th has been when this downtrend started. And now I do believe these are all time lows for uh, Electronium. I don't think previously it's ever been this low in the past. It seems like it's been much higher, but for the coin to be this low is quite interesting obviously this could be the completely wrong graph but it it is electronium to bitcoin i do believe or, or to no sorry electronium to us dollar so it does seem to to correlate so far the coin is at two cents which i believe it was um on coin market cap and now i've seen in the past it's been all the way up to like t uh, a penny no sorry yeah 10 cents six cents here uh, much higher. So the fact that we're seeing this downtrend and it finally found a stable support and we started to trade sideways was an initiative in this descending triangle to pop up ever so slightly. You can see I drew a bottom right here of resistance and then I drew another resistance up at the top, this blue line. So you can kind of see where it's facing some sort of resistance at the current moment. I don't have a relative strength indicator on here. I could probably add that with this indicator. Uh, I'm not going to do it right now, but um, you can see where it's facing some resistance. So to call it a fluke that Electronium popped right now, I'm not necessarily too sure I would say that. But uh, you can count, you can pretty much track this with the downtrend and the, the nice, you know, pop right here. Uh, so... Let me know what you think about that. I found that quite intriguing that this down, descending triangle happened at the same time that news you're saying came out. So that's interesting. Otherwise, let's look at, uh, I guess, Bitcoin and then Ethereum and lastly, Tether. So Ethereum trading sideways, massive wicks on the four hour right here. We I guess we fell all the way to 6,500 and we're currently at you know 6,630. Um, it seems like we, we were testing this support right here this uh high low middle moving average on the four hour and uh kind of popped and retraced right back up as soon as that happened um and i do think consolidation is, is definitely needed uh it's definitely possible that there is some sort of support right here 
Da 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 da. Eh, it's it's a very not sustainable support. I'm just going to delete that. I don't think it's necessary. Uh, but I do think trading sideways is definitely needed for Bitcoin at the current price level. I do think sideways movement is 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 uh, possible and and most likely recommended for the market right now. And then I do think again we're going to head up to E fairly soon, fairly quickly. So uh, just hold on to your seat belts and uh, enjoy the ride for right now. <clears throat> Lastly, for the blue chip cryptos, Ethereum. I'm going to sum this up really quickly because we're we're it's 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 very obvious as to what is happening. As you guys can see, massive downtrend on the current market right here. You can see uh, Ethereum is definitely being heavily affected by this massive amount of downwards pressure. Still not able to break above support. And um, I'm going to say I'm going to be bearish on it until we see a break in support. Now, I do think when we do break the support, we will shoot up fairly quickly, just like uh, Electronium did, just like all the other cryptos we've looked at did in the past. I'm expecting the same movement with Ethereum as well. Uh, I think we saw Bitcoin Diamond and Bitcoin Cash shoot up fairly quickly. Uh, a bunch of coins. XRP was the big one. We saw XRP see a massive run recently breaking out of its extremely long descending triangle. So I'm honestly expe expecting the same thing to happen with Ethereum. It's just a matter of time. And I do think the potential is at $180 where this support is. Lastly, moving on to Tether. So um, a lot of you guys are telling me now this is Tether to Bitcoin, not Tether to US dollar. So this probably could change the price. Let's look up USDT to US dollar and, and pull that up and see if there's any difference whatsoever because I know he was comparing this to the dollar. Now I'm not sure if this is the correct graph you were using. Um, so we have USDT on Kraken, Polynex, Bitrex. Let's use Kraken because Kraken is a fairly um, good token. So it's quite interesting when you look at this USDT to the US dollar, if you trade like that, yes, it is very flatlined and it would be considered a stable coin. If anything, it's very possible to see a nice run happen fairly soon. Um, but yes, if you look at this coin to the US dollar, it is, is, it is definitely stable. Um, I do at some point like to look at all coins to the um, da, 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 to Bitcoin because that's how most of these get traded. So when you look at USDT to Bitcoin, uh, obviously calculated by TradingView, not sure if it's on necessarily some exchanges, but when you look at it on Bitcoin, it is not like necessarily a stable coin. Not only has it been dropping in, in comparison, but it seems like we're building some sort of ascending triangle. And hopefully this stands out to you guys. Hopefully this kind of makes sense. But you can see Tether USD to Bitcoin, which is on Polynex for whatever reason, is an ascending triangle. And you can see the resistance at the top. And it does seem like we're getting ready to pop fairly soon, if not be extremely bearish and, and, and retrace. But it does seem to be more of a, a potential bullish breakout uh, from Tether to Bitcoin. But um, hopefully that helps clear some things up. Obviously, if you have any comments, concerns, negativity, obviously keep it to a minimum. But uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I do appreciate reading all of that stuff. But that's pretty much going to wrap up today's episode, guys. Hopefully that intrigued most of you. If it did, make sure to leave a massive thumbs up this way. I know you want to see more content and I'll and I'll make more. Um Otherwise, make sure to subscribe, turn on those post notifications. I am doing a crypto TV merchandise giveaway at 5,000 subscribers, and I'm very happy to do that because I will be purchasing um, some of it too or ordering some more for me, and then I'm going to start wearing it in the show. Um, obviously, we're going to pick out some sort of you know, shirt that I want to give away, and then we'll do the raffle. And if you win, you're going to email me. Let me know the size that you need. It's most likely a Gildan tee. And then I will ship it to you. But until then, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.